You know, I really gotta- I think that this strategy, this underground strategy, is a little bit overpowered. Unless there's some underground enemies, I don't really see a downside to this strategy. Is this it? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, they, they've drilled into me! They've drilled into me! What's going on? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Nimbatus the Space Dome Drone Constructor. Uh, last time we built this thing and drilled into the middle of this planet and uh, thanks to the really amazing and supportive YouTube comments I realized that I had made a terrible and stupid mistake in which I thought for some reason that the green stuff in the center of this planet that I'm going back to find right now I thought it was just more difficult material to get through but it turns out it was money and I just drilled right through all the money and uh, just wasted it all. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can find any of it and show you what I was really supposed to do. And then we're gonna get onto a new planet and uh, figure out what other missions we're gonna have to accomplish, what other objectives we're gonna have to accomplish, and what kind of ship that we might have to build for it. Now, somewhere in this planet, there's green stuff. Very, very sweet and valuable green stuff. And apparently I have to press the C key, and when I press the C key, a bunch of little drones will, uh, go out of my ship. Oh, there's some green stuff. A bunch of little drones will go out and collect it. So, um, here, let's see how this works. Do I have to be inside of it, or do I just have to be near it? Alright, ready, C. Go! Do your thing. Do I have to expose it? Like that- there we go. There we go. Come on, guys. Come on, get all the- get all the sweet money. We need more. We need more, yes. Alright. I don't know why I didn't know this. I do, I do not recall reading or seeing anything regarding green uh, material and that being money. So maybe I just missed it or I forgot completely. But uh, apparently this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's working. It seems to be working now. So that's good. Alright, come on. I, I figured that they'd be better at doing this. Most of them are just not really doing anything. But uh, let's go ahead and time lapse this and see how it goes. All right, and there we have it. Now we actually have money. We're gonna go back to the Nembatis. We're gonna go back even further. It's a good thing that it replenished itself. I wasn't sure if um, the planet was gonna retain all the damage I did to it in the last episode, but it looks like it uh, refreshes itself after you leave and come back. So now we need to choose where else we need to go. Actually, let's go back. Let's go to the shop now that we have money. See if there's anything new that we should buy or that we can buy. Uh, let's see. We got a long beam laser tower. Or a short beam laser. An attracting beam? What is an attracting beam? Okay, there's some new stuff here. So it has a long beam and it attracts, apparently. And this has a short beam that does a lot of damage. I guess let's buy both. We can do both. 2,500, 2,500. Okay, let's do it. I have no idea what that stuff is. I don't even know if we're going to have to use it. But let's see. Where do we want to go next? This was a big planet. Uh, let's go to a small planet this time. What's the smallest planet we can see? Like this, this, or this. Oh, no, this one's even smaller than those. All right, we're going to planet Wasassi. We're going to Wasassi. Okay, start travel. Destroy transmitter. Okay, so the same, it's, oh, interesting. So this looks like it's the same kind of planet as the other one with the red lava and stuff, but it's just going to be a lot smaller, and we have the same um, objective. I hope... There's not a lot more enemy presence. In the last planet, we had, like, zero enemy presence, pretty much, so it was easy for my drill to, uh, survive. So let's see. How is- how are we gonna do this time? Hopefully the enemies aren't too, uh, dense. Oh, boy, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. This is not a good sign. I don't have any shields or anything. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this. I hope this works. Is this gonna work? Come on. There we go. Alright, so I'm actually tempted to go underground. Because this is what this thing is for, and these things can't hit me underground. So let's go underground, and we're literally just going to circle the planet from underground. And we're going to look at this. We know that the transmitters now, we know, are on the surface. So we can actually scan the surface from underneath the planet, and then come up from underneath. This is actually a genius idea. I am very proud of myself right now. <laughs> I feel like a stealth... Yeah, the... We would definitely not be well equipped to deal with all these, um, all these turrets. Actually, let's- I want to see what this is like. Let's go ahead and destroy this thing from- from underneath. Look at that! This is great! 
This is an awesome, awesome strategy. There it is. I found it. Wow, this is really simple. Oh, oh, that thing's trying to shoot me. Let's go ahead and take him out before he gets through the, uh, the terrain here. I don't know if he can get through terrain, but just in case. All right, there we go. And we got some things. Look, we have a... Uh, he has his little sentry drones uh, waiting to attack me by the transmitter, and they can't even get to me. They cannot even get to me yet. Look at that. Look at this. That was so easy. All right, now let's just go to the center, see if there's any cash for us to get. I love this thing. I love this thing so much now. Look at how simple this is. This is fantastic. All right, come on. Where's, where's that sweet green nectar? Whoa, we just hit the center. Whoa, things are going weird. All right, we are in the center of the planet. My, uh, my auto stabilizer doesn't know which way to go. All right, so this is the center, apparently. Yeah, we just went through the center again. I do not see any green anywhere. But yes, this was apparently a very, very small planet. We're already at the, uh, at the edge again, pretty much. All right, doesn't look like we have any cash here, so we're just gonna destroy this thing really quick and go back to the Nambatis. That was super easy. Didn't have to build anything new. I think I like this, uh, I think I like this drone a lot now that we've discovered this secret awesome stealth strategy. Ooh, what's this? Another shop? So there's different types of shops. Let's go to this shop, see if there's anything different here. Ooh. Plasma rocket shotgun. Plasma ammunition with rockets. Huh. Heat seeking rockets. I'm gonna buy the shotgun. Rocket shotgun. Why not? All right, we need to find a we need to find a planet with some money now because we are running out. Ooh. All right, so we have a lot more. Let's go to a large planet again. Maybe large planets are more likely to have money because um, I don't think the short planet or the small planets did, but this large planet did. So let's go all the way over here to planet Kiksugu. Oh. This actually shows me the green stuff in the planet. Wait, I don't remember that on the other one. Hold on, let's do it. We need to do an experiment here. I don't remember seeing the green stuff on this planet. Let's go here, start travel. See, this one doesn't have any green stuff showing on it, but it, there's clearly green stuff inside of it. This one seems to show some green stuff, but we also have destroy transmitter. For some reason, it's giving me really simple missions. My first mission was really difficult. These missions are very, very simple. So we're gonna try the, a similar strategy. We're gonna go under, just under the surface, uh, go around the circumference of the planet, which is much bigger this time, so it might take a little bit longer to, to see what we're gonna find. But, um, I'm hoping that we'll find- be able to find that cache, and hopefully nobody- Ooh! Look at this, we got trees? That's new. What is going on with this planet? Okay. Interesting. We've got some interesting, um, whoops. Interesting terrain. Oh, there's some cache already. Let's go over there. Why, what am I stuck on? I'm stuck on something. Oh no! Wait, are you kidding me? See that? There's a little sliver right there. A little tiny sliver. And I can't get it because it, it's wedged in between my lasers. Get off of it. Go, go. There we go. Alright, we got it. Now we should auto-stabilize. Okay, that was awkward. It's really weird. Ooh, this is actually a decent amount of cash. Whoop, I'm destroying some of it. My bad. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. All right, I think we got enough cash. Let's uh, go ahead and we're just going to continue in this direction. Hopefully, I'm going in the right direction. We're going to stay underneath the surface to be protected, and we are going to hopefully find the transmitter in no time, even though this is a pretty big planet. And then once we find the transmitter, we'll head into the center again, see if we have even a bigger store of cash to, uh, to obtain. And then we can check out some of these new weapons at the end of the episode. Oh, guys, I think I found it. I see the drones, the protective drones trying to attack me over here. You know, I really gotta... I think that this strategy, this underground strategy, is a little bit overpowered. Unless there's some underground enemies, I don't really see a downside to this strategy. Like, I have no protection, really. No defenses. It's just complete offense. And, yeah, I just feel pretty much invincible going under the ground here, so... I think we got a winning strategy. We have to find a we have to find a planet that gives me some different missions though, because um, finding the transmitter is just way too easy. We we have to give like some enemy destroying missions or something. Those will probably challenge me a little bit more. But I'm curious how the underground strategy would work with those. So I don't know if there's any other cache other than that one deposit. But we're just gonna go to the center of the planet just for kicks. See what we can find, if anything. I can already feel myself getting towards the center. Yet we've just gotten towards the center. I'm going to continue trying to go towards the center. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, uh, I don't, I'm very confused. I'm trying to continue the direction that I was going. We're gonna have to go up at some point. There we go. And now we're gonna continue up to the other side of the planet. All right, so I think that's all the cash that we can have for this planet. Let's get back to the Nimbatus. All right, let's go, let's go explore some planets and see, what's this? Oh, a sumo arena. Let's, we'll do sumo in another episode if that's what you guys want to see. Let me know. I think that involves me having to learn some logic and uh, create some logic-based uh, 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 drones that automatically run themselves. But we'll save that for another episode. Let's see what can we find for new missions. Oh! Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This says destroy a large hive at the planet's core. So this is exactly what we were talking about with um, the challenge that we needed is something inside the planet and some enemies. So we're going to see how we're going to deal with that. And apparently we get an epic weapon for that. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope our drill drone, our uh, digging drone is going to be suitable for this. I don't know if we're going to have enough attack power to make up for our lack of shielding and defenses. If not, then I guess we can add some shielding and defenses. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, we're already getting attacked. We're already getting attacked. There's already some money here, too. Let's get into the planet. We need to get into the planet. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Please don't destroy me. Please don't destroy my things. No, no, no. Get away, get away, get away. Get. Oh, they've already destroyed one of my drills. This is going to be terrible. No, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I cannot orient myself towards these things. Destroy you. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh no! All right, at least it's our up drill. We only need to we need to drill down towards this towards the core for now. So hopefully this isn't going to be too much of an issue. Oh, is this the hive? Is this it? Oh! Oh no! Oh, they they've drilled into me! They've drilled into me! What's going on? What is this? What is this? This is terrible! They're inside me! How did that happen? How did this happen? All right, we're gonna have to put some shields on me here. Oh man, this was not a good idea. We're gonna have to put some shields and some additional actual attack weapons. Cause this is just clearly not working. Uh, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get out of here. Come on, come on. How much, I don't even know, how am I, how am I supposed to destroy this hive? I have no idea how I'm supposed to destroy this hive, to be honest. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I don't think these weapons are powerful enough. Whew, okay. Well, we have learned the weakness. All right, I feel like I'm not doing anything, so uh, let's go ahead and let's leave the planet. Whew, this is gonna be a fun one, isn't it? All right, so let's edit this drone. All right, so we're gonna duplicate this drone and we're gonna edit a new copy of it. Oops, and see uh, what we can add to it. So one thing I know that we need to add is shields. Oh, I have left no room. I left no room on this thing. Um, hmm. How are we gonna do this? So as far as weapons goes, we're gonna need weapons that don't require me to aim my ship because this thing is self-stabilizing. It's always gonna be the same orientation. So our weapons need to be aimable in all directions, pretty much. All right, so here's some of the new stuff that we have. A bio-rocket shotgun. Let's do it. Let's just put this thing... Let's put this thing over here. We're gonna assign it to space. We're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna try, um... Plasma shotgun, we're gonna put this over here. Assign that to space. I don't know what sparks throwers do yet. I haven't used them, so we're gonna put some of these on just to test out. Plasma sparks thrower, bio sparks thrower, EMP flames thrower, why not? Let's put that up here. The rocket gun tower is gonna be one that I think I'm gonna prioritize, because I can send rockets pretty much wherever I want. They home in on my mouse. Right, let's do a test flight. All right, the sparks are interesting. It looks like the shotgun... Alright, so the bio shotgun aims. The uh, plasma shotgun does not. The sparks also do not aim. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm not a big fan of the sparks throwers. Um, the shotguns... We're gonna put some defenses. We're gonna put a shield by the drill corners. So we're gonna put one shield there. One shield there. I hope that doesn't interfere with my drilling capabilities. I don't think it will. So I can't use my mouse because I have to use arrow keys to drill to dig and I have to use WASD to control my flight path. So I have to make sure that I don't need my mouse to do any of this stuff. The only thing I'm gonna need to use my mouse to do is to uh, guide the rockets because I'm gonna prioritize rocket uh, homing missiles which home on my mouse. 
So I'm going to use shift for the shields, and then we need the guns. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is put the rocket launchers on pretty much the corners. Pretty much cover myself in homing rockets, and then I can just move my mouse wherever I want to go to uh, aim them towards enemies. Okay, so here we go. So I can move around like this, I can use the arrow keys to do all that, and then if I press space, I launch all my rockets, and then I can move my mouse to send them out to places. So it's almost like I can keep a stockpile of rockets just going around me before they explode, and then I just... Pew! Oop, they, they actually kind of explode kind of quick. But, uh, yeah, I can just send them out wherever I need to, so hopefully that'll be enough. They do take a decent amount of power, it looks like, but look at how many I can send out, so... Oh, and then shift. Ooh, I don't cover myself as well as I had hoped with that. You know, I'm just gonna deal with it. We're just gonna deal with it. Alright, so let's save and exit. Oh boy, alright, they're already shooting. They're already shooting. No, use my rockets. Use the rockets. So many rockets. Get rid of the stuff. Get rid of the stuff. Use the rockets over here. We already got the transmitter. Oh no, there's some more coming in. Alright, let's get underground. Get underground, please, before we get any damage. Okay, let's send out our drone or our little things too. Let's let this cache. Alright, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. We've already completed the destroyed transmitter. It just happened to be right there, so that was really convenient. So now we have to work, work our way towards the center and see if we can destroy this hive. That's going to be the big thing. So I'm actually going to keep my mouse down below me. So now all I should be able to do is if I press space, yeah, all my rockets are just going to go straight down. So we should automatically attach, attack the hive. All right, so we're going to head down gently into the core. Going to try not to use too much energy. Oh, whoa, whoa, where'd that guy come from? Okay, we're already here. We're already here. There it is. This is the hive right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, get out of here. Get out of here. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Stop it. All right, we just got to go for it. We just got to go for it. I'm just going to stay. Oh, what? Already? Already? All right, come on. Come on. You know what? I'm going to have to move over to these things. We're going to have to defend ourselves a little bit. I'm not going to use our plasma. But Do we really just do it already? Did we really? That worked so well. We are in the center. Look at the center. The center is like a perfect circle. That is awesome. I wonder what the epic weapon is going to be. I'm really curious what the epic weapon is going to be. EMP bullet gun tower. All right. So this has electromagnetic ammunition digging. It can dig 200% dig strength. Minus 150% energy uses. So this might replace our diggers. And sticky bullets. What? I have to try this. I have to try this right now. Here, let's go explore. Let's go. Let's go to another planet. See what missions we're gonna get, and then let's give a reason to give ourselves a reason to try this new weapon. Now, destroy transmitter. We want something more interesting than destroy transmitter. Oh, here we go. A rare weapon. Destroy hives for a rare weapon. This has some cash on it too. So let's select drone. I'm going to take a couple of these middle plasma things, and I'm going to replace them with the new thing. So here it is, EMP bullet gun tower. So this thing apparently uses less energy. So if we put it right, does it aim too? It's probably going to, that actually might be an issue if it aims because then we can't do what we want to, oh wait, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not an issue if it aims because then we don't even have to use our arrow keys. We can just aim wherever we want. All right, let's just do a test flight really quick. They do aim. So apparently these things have digging capabilities. I don't know how much damage they do, though. It doesn't seem like they do a lot of damage, but... You know what? I'm gonna completely redesign... Or, I'm not redesign, but I'm gonna completely rework how this thing works. Because I was using arrow keys and drills, but if we can aim anywhere, then uh, we can replace all these plasma things with, uh... I think, just the, the, new, the new gun. So let's just try that, see how it works. We don't need drills anymore, either. Okay, so I'm curious how this thing is going to work. Let's test the energy consumption first. I'm hoping it's less energy, but I feel like maybe 150% less energy is still more energy than the plasma because these are like super awesome bullet things that also dig and stick. So let's see how the energy consumption looks. Okay, that is a lot of energy consumption. Let's see if we can sustain ourselves at all once we run out of the main energy cores and we have just the uh, other stuff left. We're out of energy, but I think the amount of energy that is recycling back is allowing all these other shots to go. Yeah, see, look how fast that stuff goes in. Okay, interesting. That is actually kind of interesting. All right, so I think we might be... We might be okay. Let's see how it works. All right, here we go. 
Well, we're already getting shot at. I forgot to actually test out my shields, but they look perfect. Things look great. All right, let's uh, see how the digging capability is. I'm actually not impressed with the digging capability compared to what it was before. It seems a little bit... Uh oh, we just ran out of energy. We have to defend ourselves. We must defend ourselves after we run out of energy. The digging capability is not quite as uh, stable, not quite as efficient as it was with the other one. So we may have to change back. Yeah, look at this. This is not... This is not good. I cannot dig down very well. Unfortunately. Maybe I should have kept the drills. You think I should have kept the drills? I don't know. Alright, well this planet has a lot of money. So let's go back to our other one. And see if that one is any better. Alright, shields! Hurry up! Alright, you know, I gotta do this. Gotta use my thingies. Come on. Come on, destroy it. Alright, destroy these things. Alright, now let's get down into the core. Not into the core, but below the surface. We just want to get below the surface for now. Alright, now let's go ahead and destroy these things while we can. We still have some decent energy. Wait, why are... Did I lose my shields? I lost half of my shields. Why did I lose half of my shields? I lost my bottom shields and I don't know why. They must have collided with the ground in a weird way. Alright, well, uh, let's just head over to this... To this money over here. Ah, get out of here. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. Alright. Let's deploy some of these things. At least we're gonna get some cash out of this. And then, uh, so after we get these, we're missing our bottom shields, but that's okay. Our top is gonna be, ex is what's really gonna be exposed to the enemies. Um, if at all. Because we're gonna go underneath the planet again and, uh, take out the hives from, from below. But first, I have a lot of cash here to kinda sift through. All right, so is there some is there some way to control where these drones go? Because it's very annoying. It seems like they're kind of randomly going wherever they please. And it takes me a lot of waiting to get them to go in certain directions that I just like, Hey guys, the money's up there. Why don't we, why don't we start going up there a little bit? But they're all just kind of like down here instead. And uh, I don't know what to do about that. And I can't, I can't figure out how to control them. So let me know in the comments if there's anything I can do about that. Or is this just something I got to deal with? All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but right up here, there's a hive, and they're waiting for me. So I'm going to, hopefully these drones will do their job and help me dig through this, uh, this valuable, this valuable money here so I can get to this thing and, uh, destroy their, destroy their home. That's not weird. I just come to this planet, I destroy their hives and take their money and leave as if, uh, they're the bad guys. Oh, they can dig. I didn't know that they could dig. Hmm. We are getting ready. My drones are not doing their jobs. Oh boy, almost there. Almost there. All right, we've broken through. We've broken through. Come on. Come on. Get it, 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 get it. I'm going to aim at the hive. Come on. Go, 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 go. All right, hive is gone. Now we just got to kill them and they are gone. Whoop, let's get that guy too. All right, well, that was easy. Ah, ah, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. What are you guys doing? All right, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's forget about the money. We have 12,000. That's good enough. Let's go find the other hives and uh, take these out. We need, and we need to find a transmitter apparently too. Oh, so it looks like maybe our drills, maybe that's not a good spot for the shield. It definitely conflicts with our, our drills do not cover that shield very well. That's an issue. All right, we need to find better spots for our shields apparently. Oh, no, 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 get out of here. All right, let's go up. Where were they coming from? Is there, there's a nest. Okay, so there's the nest over here. We need to get this thing. So we need to go this direction. Oh, oh, things are not happening well with our drills at all. All right, where's the nest? There's the nest. All right, we can get this. There we go. Come on. Look at that. That was great. They didn't even have any access to us. All right, so yeah, we definitely have to reposition those shields. And uh, after that, I think we'll be pretty much golden. Oh no, don't let them dig. Don't let them dig. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Where's their nest? Their nest must be over here somewhere. I feel like there's two nests. Is there another nest somewhere? This seems like more... More, uh, little bugs than normal. Alright, come on, just right up there. Alright, go, 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 Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Alright, destroy the little things. Get them. Get them. Come on, get that thing. There we go. Oh, there is two. I knew there was another nest somewhere. 
All right, so now if we just go up and around, up and around, up and, oh boy. All right, you know what, we need to go in from under. We need to go in from under again. There we go. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, destroy hives completed. So now we shouldn't expect any more enemy activity. Wait, there's another hive. Oh, all right, never mind. Apparently we just need to destroy some, not all of the hives. So there are more hives, but we can ignore them. We just need to find this transmitter now. All right, there are a lot of hives on this planet. I'm seeing hives everywhere, but I have not yet spotted the transmitter. There it is, I found it. I'm so glad I went up here a little bit more. We have to draw the, we should probably destroy this hive first before we destroy the transmitter. Because uh, they're going to be spawning out of here, preventing us from destroying that transmitter. All right. So I'm just going to aim up here. All right. And go, 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 go. All right. We got the hive. It's going to take care of the rest of them. All right. Now let's just keep ourselves underground just in case and get up towards this transmitter here. There we go. All right. Mission is complete. Let's go back to the Nimbatus. Let's see. We got a bio flamethrower. So what does this do? Shoot some flames, projectile anti-gravity. Okay, that makes sense. Less particle lifetime. 200% particle lifetime. I feel like that's a bad thing. Oh, well, it's something. It's something new. All right, let's go back, see what new areas we have discovered. Okay, so I think we're gonna end the episode here. I think that went really, really well. We discovered an awesome strategy of doing a sneak attack from underground. It seems pretty effective once we can get underground in the first place. I'm definitely going to have to make some adjustments to uh, make sure those shields don't interfere with our drilling capabilities. Let me know what do you want to see in the next episode. Uh, we're definitely going to explore some more planets. Maybe we'll check out Sumo. If you want to see Sumo, make sure you hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know that that's what you would want to see. Yeah, Sumo Arenas. we got some Sumo Arenas around here. Well, anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!